I'm Ellen Jaffe Jones, the veg coach and the broccoli rep, because who else is? These are some of the 88 5K or longer races that I've placed in, the awards for those uh, age group awards, and I'm also seventh in the U.S. in the 1500 meters, and first in Florida in everything from the 50 meters to the 1500 meters. So I want to show you some of the dynamic warm-up exercises that I use every single time I run or race, no exceptions. So the first one, we're going to work our way up the body. We're going to do ankle rotations, five in each direction. You can do these with me. That is three, four, five, and then reverse. This is also good balance training, which you need. Three, four, five, and then reverse to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and reverse. Two, yes I am in an empty apartment. That's where I want to be for good sound and not ambient noise. And so you'll just have to put up with a little echo here. It adds to the mysticism of eating a vegan diet and running and staying healthy until you're 100. Next one, the rotations. One, two, three, four, five, and reverse. Two, three, four, five, Legs apart, shoulder, shoulder width apart, and reverse, uh, sorry, rotate, one, two, three, four, five, this is for your hips and your hip flexors, two, three, four, five, when I do this on the beach, people look at me strangely, but I don't care, next, shoulders forward, one, two, three, four, five, I wish they'd join me, reverse it, one, two, three, four, five, and sometimes they do. Next, neck rotation, forward only and to the side, not to the back, just forward like this. That's two, and then three, and four, we're getting two, and then to center. Now we're going to do some more dynamic warm-ups and this is actually going to get the muscles that we're going to use for running all fired up. So first thing we'll do is walk on our tiptoes. I'm not going to do this the whole length because obviously I'll run into the camera but you'll get some ideas on what you can do. So walking on your tiptoes oh, for about uh, 30 seconds. Each one of these will do for 30 seconds. Then on your heels for 30 seconds. And then we're going to walk pigeon toed, so your toes are going to be pointing in. And I do these every time I run, no exceptions. It works, it's been working for a lot of decades for me. And then out this way, reversing that. As you notice, all of these have an opposite reaction type of exercise. Then we are going to do skipping with large arm circles, so it's going to look like this. And then we're going to, after you do 30 seconds or so of that, we're going to reverse. And the next series will be small arm circles, so it looks like this. I hope you're writing this all down. <laughs> and then we're going to reverse the direction of the small arm circles like this. All right, then the next series, we are going to do forward lunges, just like this. So you're landing, feeling those thigh muscles, your quadriceps really firing up, but your knee never goes farther than your toe. And you just land midfoot or so, and you just want to feel those quadriceps fire up. And when you push off, really push off in your heels so you feel it in your glutes and your butt. Then the next series we're going to do the same thing, but in the T formation with our arms rotating to the right and back to center. And then pushing off and landing on the other leg, twisting, and pushing off with the glutes. It's what gives runners those amazing runner butts and, of course, running on a vegan diet. All right, so we'll do both of those series and then reverse uh, first left, Twisting to the left, twisting to the right. And then the next is T formation. And try and get your knees as far as you can up to your elbows. And the next one is picking raspberries. This is 
going to stretch the backs of your legs, so you're going to take three steps. One, two, three. Reach down. Keep that foot nice and flat. Leg is straight. You can feel a nice stretch in the back of your leg. And then alternate. And flex the other foot. Reach down and feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Okay. The next series will be side slides like this. And then reverse directions. And the next one, and I'll turn this way so you can see the other side, is called karaoke. Same kind of thing, almost like a dance step. It goes like this. And then reverse it. And you can really get going with that. Um, let's see. The next one will be, uh, and there's so many different exercises you can do. I'm just giving you a sample here. You can always email me or respond below and say, what more can you give me to do, Ellen? Because I always have lots of different things you can do. Tin soldier, like this. This is the same kind of thing as picking raspberries, but if you want a little more stretch, you can do that. Just don't overdo it. And then another nice little hip flexor stretch is take a step forward, grab your ankle, and twist it up. Now, don't twerk the knee. Don't go overboard on this. Some people are more flexible than others, but you do what you can here. But this is really good for the IT band, sides of your thighs, and your hips as well. All right, let's do, because this is so much fun, under and over the fence. So you can imagine there's a barbed wire fence right here, and you are not going to want to get stuck. So lift those legs, and that barbed wire is under your back at that point, so you get the idea of how we're rotating here. Then back the other direction. Now I've seen some college teams do this exercise over hurdles and do it about 10 times the speed I am. So um, all of this is good. You can certainly do levels of intensity, but I'm just giving you some ideas now on how you do it. All right. Um, then the final thing we'll do is leg swings. So grab something about this high, and we're going to do 10. You can work up to 15 leg swings in one direction, sideways here, and then we'll switch legs after you do 10 or 15, and work the other leg, trying to keep your upper body nice and straight, just swinging from the hips, and then we're going to do forward swings, and try not to kick the ball, and rotate sides, so you always want to hold on to something on the same side of the leg is that you're swinging, so you get my backside. All right, so that is pretty much it, and that will get you started and get you out the door.